guys and welcome to today's video as you can see we are in my home room and i am so excited because i have been decorating it so much so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a couple pinterest inspired room decor diys of course you know we love to make things ourselves and personalize our room so i'm so excited to jump right into these little diys also make sure to check me out on my other socials because i post a lot of additional diys that you might not see here other than that let's get into the crafting hello guys i've been waiting for so long to start this craft i've had it in my screenshots for way too long but it was surprisingly hard to find a lamp that i liked at the thrift store but here she is she was five dollars and i also desperately need better lighting in my room so this is the craft for me it's pretty simple i think i hope i didn't watch a video i just saw a photo and felt a little inspired what we're gonna do is start by just going at this with some handy dandy scissors and i'm gonna try to cut this out oh my gosh like the thing is where do you make the first maybe i need a knife oh this feels so wrong okay first issue we run into top rim is not connected to the bottom so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to reconnect these Okay, so I don't know a lot about lamp, but basically this upper ring held there because of all the plastic. So I have a bunch of wire stuff and I'm going to try to make shift a little like pole thing so that it stays up. So that's the plan. Firstly, I took this kind of thicker wire with some pliers and wrapped it around the top and bottom equal distance apart just to hold the top rim up. And then I got out all of my beads. I have so many glass beads for absolutely no reason. So I love when I find crafts where I can use these. I just took my scrapped beads that are all mixed up, which I kind of like the look it gives. And I took it around this much thinner wire and then to connect it to the lamp, I just twisted it around the bottom and the top and it held really well actually then you basically just repeat this step and you can do it as many times as you want as long as they're like pretty equally spaced but of course i kind of just use my own judgment and i definitely made it a lot like spacier than you have to because if you want it to be completely covered in beads you can definitely do that i think i just got tired of threading all the beads if you don't want the light to shine through quite as much you can definitely add more beads and yeah that's how this finished lamp turned out honestly maybe it's bad to start this off with my favorite diy but i absolutely love how this turned out I think it kind of gives the same energy as the beaded curtains I made in my last DIY Pinterest room decor video. Needless to say, I love all things beaded and I absolutely love this lamp. Guys, I finished my lamp last night and I just set it up and I think it's so cute. I can't wait until it gets dark today so that I can use it because I don't know if anyone relates to this, but this lamp here is very yellow and it just like puts me in a bad mood. So I was like, I can't use that lighting. So I'm really excited about this. I think it matches the vibe of my room so much better. Tell me this ain't the cutest thing you've ever seen. So it's just set up in this little corner and I am actually obsessed with it. Hello guys, I have my little basket of craft supplies and I'm excited because this craft is absolutely awesome because it is so stinking easy. You can dry your own flowers if you want like more sentiment with it. Like say someone gave you, you know, rose petals or a bouquet or something, but I bought some dried flowers on Amazon. I got a huge packet of them and I use them in a different craft video and I have so many left over and so I've been thinking of different ways that I want to use them and this was one of the main ways. I am a person who loves to reuse my jars the main place I use them is to hold things like my pen or even right here at my makeup brushes So I'm gonna spruce these up and make them a little bit cuter just with these dried flower decals Now I will admit I do think this DIY is pretty self-explanatory But I'm just here to say hi in this voiceover and to encourage you guys to do this DIY because it is literally so simple it's also pretty satisfying and i swear it makes things look so much more personalized and cute and i just i'm here for it like i'm so here for painting everything you own and sticking dried flowers on it so that is exactly what i did for my makeup brush holder and my pen holder these are all the flowers that i got from amazon and as you can see they are so cute and colorful it did take a couple layers of the mod podge you need it to get a little bit tacky otherwise they won't like lay super flat but once you work with it a little bit and paint a bunch of coats of Mod Podge over it. As you can see for some of the thicker flowers, they definitely hold just fine.
This other craft that I'm doing is just me painting, but in all my years, I didn't think to paint this until, I don't know why, recently I've just really been wanting to. So I scrolled through Pinterest, found some painting inspiration, and of course, I'm gonna do mushrooms. So of course, the first step is taking the light switch plate off, which is so simple and easy, which is amazing for girls like me who do not really mess with the, the tools and the screwdrivers and whatnot. So I just took the two screws off, it came off nice and easy, and I got to paint. I just used two photos lightly for reference, but obviously we went with the same plant and mushroom theme that is consistent in my life because we love a cohesive room. And once again, we love personalized things. But other than that, here's the little montage of me painting it and I just sealed it in with some Mod Podge too. <laughs> friends it's present day melanie here before you say anything yes these last couple of diys were filmed quite some time ago my hair is a dead giveaway but i pre-filmed these a long time ago i still think these crafts are super cute so i figured why not add them hopefully you still enjoy them so let's get back to the video Okay, I'm gonna be making this super cool mushroom lamp. You're gonna need one bowl and then one vase. I looked up hockey pot remote lights, but I think you can also get this at certain Ikeas. They didn't have it here. I think the original video I based this off of, she got them at Ikea in the Netherlands, which just has like more stuff. But I just got mine on Amazon, so I'll link those. You're also gonna need glue depending on what hockey puck lights you have. The last thing is some spray paint. Starting off with the supplies list, this is the vase and bowl that I got, and I think they look like a perfect little mushroom. I'm also showing you the spray paint and the light here and then I'm gonna begin by taping basically all of the exterior because I'm gonna paint it or spray paint it from the inside. This way you still have the nice sheen of glass on the outside but honestly if you spray paint the outside it kind of looks the same. Here's me spray painting it in my scary looking garage at night so it's not the most aesthetic clip ever but you get the point. I'm spray painting the inside. <laughs> The type of spray paint I bought and just my technique of trying to make it kind of sheer and like spotty was so that it'd be a little bit more translucent so that the light would shine through better but also so it looks a little bit more like stone like. Then I just stuck the light on the top of the bowl, flipped it over and you are literally done. It is so easy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not really sure if this one counts as a DIY, but I was really inspired by this photo on Pinterest of these literal bookshelves. I was gonna try to do it on my own, but I think it's easier and cheaper to just buy these bookshelves on Amazon, so I'll link them. Basically, you just drill these into your walls. They seem pretty simple and self-explanatory. The only difference between these shelves is they have this little ledge here. So when you put a hardcover book like this one, I plan on actually thrifting some books just for this purpose um just me doing it the wrong way as you can see it goes kind of back here and it holds the book backing i guess and so then it'll be on your wall like this and it kind of just looks like it's levitating I'm install them right now it came in a set of three but i think i'm just going to install two for now <laughs> okay so i don't know how well you can tell but i have all of my shelves up right now Don't get me wrong, guys, this could be a terrible idea, but in my head, it's working. But we're gonna at least try. It's gonna take up probably the majority of the space in my room. Frame walls have been really popular recently. I thrifted a bunch of frames, and I have six. So I just took the tags off, and I wiped them all down and cleaned them. Then I also have two posters. These were up on my wall before, and I think I'm gonna use probably this one. I'm gonna like chop it up and put it in the frame so that it's kind of like a, I don't know. I just had a vision in my head. I thought it might look cute, but it might not. We're gonna see, we're gonna try it out. That's what this video is for. We are going to chop up my little plant poster and put it in here. Okay, that was actually really painful. I had to literally pry that thing out, but it's done now and it is time to choppy choppy the sky out and 
put some plant image in. I'm just gonna put it somewhere that I like and then I'm gonna cut around it. So this might be a little awkwardly cropped for you, but I was kind of going for that, telling myself that I was, I don't know. And then I'm gonna put it right here into my frame and then we're gonna have to tape it down. Make sure it's straight. Okay, so we have our first big frame done. We're just gonna do that to our two smaller frames as well. So I have these ones. These ones should be a lot easier because I don't have to pry the back off. So right here, you can see me cutting out different portions of the same poster and just fitting it to all the different frames. Obviously for a frame wall, you can add whatever you want to the frames, but I thought it would be kind of fun to make them like mismatched, but like the same art, I suppose. So they're all coming from the same poster for where I'm beginning with. So they all kind of have like different cute plants in them. <laughs> So this is the nice big blank wall that I'm going to be adding all of my frames to because I used to have a bunch of stuff up. It's also the background of most of my like videos and intros so I think it'll look really good once it's a little bit more decorated. I'm thinking something like this like the gold. A lot of these walls are a lot more full but I'm thinking it'll be pretty easy to add to it. <laughs> Okay guys, this is what the finished thing looks like. I actually, I really, really like how it turned out. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and the DIYs. If you try any of these little just room decor DIYs out, I would absolutely love to see them. So make sure to tag me. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video inspires you and that you're having a lovely day. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.